fit our friends in it as, as we are. <laughs> so hello, hello everybody. And we are here this evening. I'm here, Anne-Marie, clinical hypnotherapist and life coach. And I'm here with, can you tell? They're twins, if you, if you didn't already work that out for yourself. These are the Strain Twins. Now, you know all about them. They have been here before doing lots of different things, but now they are here for a real celebration of how they have empowered themselves to become the very best version of themselves. So, as a life coach, I run a program. It's called the Youth Impact Program, and it really is about empowering your children to take control of themselves and, 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 and be in that in that mindset where they can make decisions based on being confident people. That was a lot of talking, wasn't it? So, are you okay there, Freddie? Good. Now, they've been working with me for how many sessions did we have together? Do you remember? Five. And today is number? Six. Six. This is our sixth session. So, we've just been having a roundup of all the work that we've done and all the things that you've achieved. So, Freddie, for you, what's been your greatest achievement whilst you've been working with me, do you think? Uh, getting star of the day. Getting? Star of the day. Getting star of the day. Okay, so, and why did you get star of the day? Uh, being helpful to my teacher. Okay. And some ways that you've grown in your confidence. Okay, some ways that you've grown in your confidence. What do you think you do now that you weren't able to do when you first started working with me? What do you think? What do you think you do differently? Much more confident. Much more confident. Can you give me an example of that, where you've shown your super confidence? Um, my dad's swearing. I told him uh, watch language. Wow, and that's about you wanting to be the very best person that you can be, and you want to be in the right environment. You want to hear the right things being said to you. I think that takes a lot of confidence to be able to say it. So I'm going to give you a high five on that one. Oh yeah, he's just he's super loathed me. And Max, when we first started working together, you had a few things that you were not really confident about. For you, what have you learned about yourself during this whole time that we've been working together? That. You can be powerful and confident. Who can be? Everyone. Everybody, but particularly? Me. You. And tell me something that has shown you that you are super confident and super, super powerful today. That I, I'm always confident now and I'm happy every day. And that's the most important thing, isn't it? Because when you're confident, you can do things and you're not shy to do them. The more you do them, the more confident you get, the more confident you get, the more happy you become. Are you okay there doing your Bill and Ben? So, Freddie, tell me. Tell me something you've learned about yourself during this whole time we've been working I've together. Learned, I can do anything I want. And what do you want to do now? I want to... You've got some goals that you're working on, haven't you? I want to be... Pardon? Can I go get it? It's there. It's there. It's here. Ooh. It's here. It's here. Yeah, that's it. But you, you we, we, when we... <clears throat> one of the goals that you've... Okay, so we've done the life wheel. We, talk, we talked to you about the life wheel. And when you first start... Can you see that? Everybody look at that. So when Freddie first started, this was where he placed himself. Okay, so these purple lines are where he placed himself and how he was feeling confident in all of these different situations. And you can see some of them are quite low, especially at school. And now in this last session, well, Freddie, tell everybody about what you've done in your last session. My what does that mean? My last session, like, then purple lines were, was when I was, like, when I first met Anne-Marie. And these... These orange lines is how I improved. Yeah, and how have you improved? What is your will saying now? So on school I was on six, no five, now I'm on ten. Excellent. Friends was seven, but now I'm on ten. Brilliant. Um, um, personal growth, six, now it's on ten. Brilliant. 
and home was in 10 and now it's on a billion. A billion! Isn't that where we'd all like to be? Our home life to be a billion percent happy. I think that's absolutely brilliant. The one thing I would like to ask you, so we've done all of your Wheel of Life and right at the end you were left with one goal. What's your one goal left that you'd like to achieve, Freddie? For you to be a super 100% confident person. What's your last goal? You've written it down, haven't you? Can you remember what it is? Um, be healthier. Be healthier. Okay, so what does that mean for you, being healthy? What are you going to try to do? Uh, not eat a lot of chocolate anymore. Wow, and that's the only thing that you've got left to work on out of all of those areas. Out of school life, out of your personal growth, out of your friends, your family. The only thing you've got left to work on is your body. healthy, is your body. What do you think, feel about that? Easy. Easy. And how do you feel that you've achieved all of this in such a short amount of time? Extraordinary. Extraordinary. I'm so glad you used your synonym. Um, <laughs> and what difference has it made for you at school? Lots. Lots. Any examples? Um, today, I my my friend had um, so he pressed fish fingers for lunch, but he actually. He actually pressed jacket potato, and I had fish fingers, and he don't like jacket potato, so I gave him my fish fingers, and I had the jacket. A really kind thing to do. You know, really, the confidence to be the extraordinary person that you are, I think, is amazing. Thank you so much, Freddie. Max, did you want to come and show us how your will has... <laughs> how you've progressed with your will? So, Max, when we first started working together, how did you feel about your will? Mm. Not too good? Yeah. No. You had a lot of things that you, you felt you had to work on. Would that be right? Yeah. Okay. What's your will looking like today, Max? Wow! Look at that. That is a full circle. And what does that mean to you, Max, to have got to this point where everything is just 100% where it needs to be in your life? How does that make you feel? Happy. Okay. And what difference has that made to you at school? Um, it's made me do better because I've had a bit a better attitude. And it, the friends that you've had, how have you been dealing with the friendships that you've had? Uh, I've got a new one. You've got a new friend, and you and what we was talking about. You really are able to tell people how you feel and what you accept and what you won't accept. Yeah. Would you say? And all of these skills are going to help you to be who and what. It's going to help me to be a policeman and the best version of me. Absolutely. Well, you know, what would you say to somebody who felt like you two months ago? What would you say to them that they need to do? Go to Amory. <laughs> because of what yeah. does going to... And what have you learnt about yourself during this whole process, Max? That you can be positive and you're powerful. Who is? Everyone. But most importantly, who is? me you you are super powerful and you are super positive so that's the strang boys if you feel that your child could benefit from really becoming the most empowered version of themselves and having this fantastic life look at those smiles those smiles say it all they really really do um you know where i am essex-hypotherapist.com and i'd love to speak to you too okay there you go <laughs>